Thursday afternoon chat. Your favorite artists with Jay Off. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome a first timer on the show, Mr. Ben Fuller. Hello. Hello there. I don't I don't do first timers very often because uh, the awkwardness of of hey we don't know each other so let's get to know each other and then the second interview will really get some good meat in but I have a feeling we're going to be kindred we're going to be good yeah we already are you're from Vermont yeah my next door neighbor is from Vermont uh, and uh, he says he's a great guy um, this he's a retired engineer from IBM that retired down to Florida with his wife. And uh, he says, every time he comes over to my garage, I don't know if it's a Vermont thing, but he says, garage. <laughs> when he calls it my garage, and I never, I'm, not, I'm like, a what? But I'm so used to it now, he says garage. Garage. Yeah. Yeah, I say it. Garage. Okay. I probably know him, I, I, would, I would say. <laughs> that I, I mean, Vermont is pretty small. <laughs> I've, I've heard a lot of accents tweaking a lot of things, but it's very, he sounds just like me. Until he says garage. Yeah. yeah. So how do you say it? Garage. Garage. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn. But when you're next door neighbors with somebody, the word garage comes up a lot. Yeah. Because that's one thing you have in common with each other right next yeah. to each other is <laughs> our garage. Uh, it's like the one word that he says weird. It comes up daily. Yeah. I was just messing around in the garage. And <laughs> the, the what? Do you ever say the what? Well, it's funny is I spent a lot of time in the UK. And so... In my mind, I say garage accidentally. Yeah. And uh, and I'm like, I don't even want to confuse Bruce with garage. He already has enough problems. I love it. You know, um, we're going to uh, today, we're going to we don't do this very often, but mm. somebody told me you got to have been play like live, not just off. A, I almost said CD. You remember those? <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, off my uh, hard drive. Um, but we'll put, we'll do a couple of songs, but, uh, this is just kind of a, a getting to know Ben Fuller session here. Um, but let's start with the green screen behind us. I know your buddies with the guys in unspoken, uh, they, when the, we had them and they chose a gas station background, which fits. It was perfect. Yeah. It honestly was perfect. Yeah. Chad and Chad and gas stations. Yeah. Is perfect. Oh, it was. Yeah. I think your exact words were Chad looks like he works at that gas station. <laughs> But he did tell a story of uh, after he chose it, he was like, yeah, I was in a gas station just this morning before I came over. And it was like earlier in the day. It was that gas station that was behind him, I'm sure. Well, he, so. he said that he walked up. He was like, yeah, I got one of those uh, taquito things on the rollers. Oh, boy. And the guy behind the counter had a hard time with the fact that I didn't use the tongs. I just walked up, <laughs> grabbed it, started eating it as I was paying, put hot sauce on it. And he's just eating it while paying. Um, I've witnessed. Okay. I've witnessed him do it, so I literally could. I would. I would go no way, but I've seen him do it. Yeah. So yeah. There's no hand washing. Yeah. No. There's no tongs. No. He's. And he's handling money while he's above paying. That. Yeah, that's even worse. <laughs> so, yeah. There should be a with him living next door to Darren from We Are Messengers, like there should be a a reality show of a Chad from Unspoken and all that he is. Yeah. Living next to an Irish guy. And the collision of cultures. Right and maybe there. they could film it in their garage. Yeah, yeah, that'd, that'd be, be good. good. <laughs> or their garage, as yes, Darren would say. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> let's um, before we go into a song here. Let me let's spin the. Uh, we gotta. Oh, we gotta pick the the green screen. So you've seen our list. Um, you can go off the list. You can go anything you want as a background. Yeah. So when people see us talking on Instagram or Facebook, yeah, they're gonna see whatever you choose. So what yeah. would you like to go with? I feel like we're we should we belong around a campfire. Okay. So maybe and I, and and nighttime. A starry sky? Yes. Okay. Um all right, let's do it. Uh let's change this to campfire and starry night. Ooh, good choice. Praise the Lord. I like it. Maybe we'll give away a t-shirt if somebody sees a shooting star while Ben and I are talking. <laughs> Tenth caller, when you see a shooting star, Hopefully it's not a string of them or we're going to be giving away a lot oh, of shirts. I was going to say, I don't know if I have that many shirts. Not your yeah, shirts, yeah, our I mean, shirts. Oh, 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 gosh. Okay. Not everything's we'll about you, bold. Ben. <laughs> right. Sorry. We have merch, too. <laughs> Sorry. You're drinking our coffee mug. <laughs> I repent. <laughs> Sorry, Lord. Okay, here we go. In front of a night sky and a campfire, let's spin the wheel and get to one of our random yeah. questions here. Uh, whenever you want to give it a... And just let me know the number it says on this. These are bingo balls with numbers on them. Oh, there you go. 
just grab oh one. my god grab one of those okay. and they're all attached to a question on my screen here oh boy g57 g57 what is the non-gospel related subject you could talk about for hours you don't oh. have to do it but <laughs> farming farming okay. yeah probably how, how deep can you go um, Let's say nobody it, knows anything about farming at all. How deep do you go into? F- is fertilizer the beginning or? Fertilizer might be the beginning, but yeah. like as far as you know, my dad uh, had a dairy farm, so um, I've assisted in like 500 baby calf births, oh. and like I don't. I mean, we can go right down to the yeah to the real thing. You know, wait, that's is that far? You're saying like, are you thinking crops farming? I'm thinking dairy farming. Dairy I'm thinking farming. cows. Oh, I was thinking growing out of the ground. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, we can talk about that too. So how early was the earliest you milked a cow? Um, I think honestly, I started five years old with my dad. I was okay. like holding my dad's hand out in the barn. Yeah. So, and like, does one cow fill up a bucket? I grew up in Seattle, so we... You know, we yeah. milked um, coffee beans is what we milked. Um, I think a really good milk cow will give 100 pounds of milk per day. Okay. Do you have to take a break or do you just keep on going? Oh, you just, I mean, twice a day, every day. They, so, they so, can do that twice a day? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And is that a bucket? I don't know, gallon. That's... Um, Multiple buckets. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot. And then what do you do with the bucket afterwards? Like, is there a big holding tank? So it actually, we had machines. And so the machines would, it's like a vacuum. Oh. And so the milk would go... Well, that's not fun. Well, I mean, (laughs) it's a lot of work still. Replacing humans. Yes, exactly. what's happening We use robots. What can I say? (laughs) Um, But yeah, we would have thousands of gallons of milk every day. And so it would go into a big tank and then get chilled. Yeah. to 34 degrees and and uh would get picked up by um the milk company okay. every other every other day so you don't add chocolate to a vat boy that they do that pray the oompa loompas actually Yo, add chocolate okay. to the yeah so we had those too that's another conversation yeah. but no I'm just, Good. Oh, that's interesting i uh, so this was not wisconsin this is like is vermont heavy into dairy farming was that a shooting star i just saw Good uh, night. Caller, caller number 10 right now. Uh, uh, one, what's the number again? Yeah. Um, I uh, Sorry, what was the question? Vermont, uh, is it a heavy milking town? Uh, it was. It used to be at one point. There's actually a lot of um, a lot of farms that just can't do it anymore. Right. Because they would pay, you know, the, the, the going rate was between $17 and $20 per 100 pounds of milk. Yeah. And so it's a lot, you know, it, it's a lot of work for the price. And so it kind of drove a lot of farmers out. Is there bad blood between the maple syrup people and the milk people? Um, I think a lot of the milk people did a lot of the maple syrup oh. production as well. We did anyway. I, we okay. used to make about 150 gallons every oh. season. And um, that was just kind of how we supplemented and paid bills and yeah. stuff. And it's like you can get about $70 per gallon yeah. of, of maple syrup. I tried to go, vi- I worked at a station in Western Mass. And so I'm like, oh, I'm going to go up. And just, I want to see the maple syrup process. Yeah. And after doing some research, they're like, yeah, we really only do this for about three weeks of the year. And yeah. I'm like, oh, seriously, you think Vermont, New Hampshire, it's all year and everybody's covered in it. It it's has like, to be freezing at night and then, you know, 40 warm temperatures, I guess, warmer temperatures yeah. uh, in the daytime. So yeah, it literally is like a month long. Yeah. It's crazy. I will be honest. This is the most I've ever learned in an interview. And the years I've been doing interviews, we've covered a lot of ground and we've just begun. Do you want to pray quick? No. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you for learning today, God. Let's go into, uh, if you could grab your guitar and uh, and uh, we're going to do some live music. But first, can you just talk to me about the song we're going to do, Who I Am, where it yeah. come from? So, so. Um, yeah, Who I Am has just become, um, as a new believer, uh, I gave my life in 2019, um, November 10th, I got baptized and... So this is all really new to me, but I believe that this song, I remember um, writing it and the spirit just fell so mightily, but it, it literally has become my anthem. Mm. Who I am in the eyes of the Father, who I am is love set free. Who I was, I left at the altar. I am yours, Lord, I believe. And um, I'm a child of the Most High God, and I need to just remind myself that every day. I'll stand in front of the mirror 
that I don't like who's looking back at me wish I could see things clearer oh like who I'm supposed to be and every trial lift me higher through the fire hold me tighter remind me again that I was made for more Who I am in the eyes of the Father Who I am is love set free Who I was, I left at the altar I am yours, Lord, I believe It's who I am, I'm a child of the Most High God And the Most High God's for me Who I am, I'm a child of the Most High God And the Most High God's for me Everything has been changing But you haven't left a stone unturned Anything I've been facing Oh, I keep standing on your word in the water Take me under, fill my lungs to speak your wonder You brought me out of the darkness I was made for more but Who I am in the eyes of the Father who I am is love set free. Who I was, I left at the altar. I am yours, Lord, I believe. It's who I am, I'm a child of the Most High God. And the Most High God's for me. Who I am, I'm a child of the Most High God. And the Most High God's for me. You gave up everything for me to have everything. For all of eternity, a song in my lungs to sing. You gave up everything for me to have everything. For all of eternity, a song in my lungs to sing. I'm a child of the Most High God, the Most High God's for me. I'm a child of the Most High God. The most high God's for me. Who I am in the eyes of the Father. Who I am is love set free. Who I was, I left at the altar. I am yours, Lord, I believe. Who I am, I'm a child of the most high God. And the most high God's for me. Who I am, I'm a child of the most high God. And the most high God's for me. I'm a child of the Most High God and the Most High God's for me. I'm a child of the Most High God and the Most High God's for me. There you go. Good stuff. Let's give it up. We don't do live music very often. Normally, I like to just push play on a song. Um, but uh, I was told that you live was great and they were not wrong. So that's who I am from Ben Fuller. Um, let's hit, actually, let me hit you with this song, Ben. I love the fact we get so many artists that come in that are have been believers for a very long time. And so when somebody's a newer believer, I love the perspective of, uh, oh, wow, this is all new to you. That you have, mm. You don't know all the scriptures, all the, you know, you don't speak a Christianese language that we learn over time, I guess. So it's love. I love to see somebody wide eyed, like I'm just now recently blown away by this story of yeah. the gospel. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about a bit of one bit of scripture. I'm going to surprise you with this question. So hopefully there's something brewing in your head, but one bit of scripture so far in 2022, that's sort of tattooed itself to you that you won't forget anytime soon. Mm. Um, take your time, I, um, I think, you know, I've, I've, all this is so new to me, like you said, but, um, Joshua one, nine, be strong and courageous for the Lord. God is with you wherever you go. And it's like, I just need to tell myself that he's in my passenger seat. I need to tell myself, I need to remind myself and read that, that, that wherever I go, he's, he's, he's right next to me because so many times, um, I get attacked when I'm by myself mostly. Mm. And so when I'm not around somebody, that is encouraging me when I'm not around somebody that's lifting me up. Um, even when I go to seek God by myself, I'm like, oh, okay. But then I realized that Jesus went from the water to the wilderness mm. and there he is the other side waiting for me as well. Yeah. And so like, 
I, I need to remind myself to be strong and courageous and, and know that he is, he's in me and he's with me mm. and that, um, that I can do all things with him. That's one of the biggest things I've told my children throughout the years is get the word of, because as a, somebody who grew up, I'm the opposite spectrum. I was being food sped the food. Spoon food. fed. Food is not a yes. word. Spoon fed yes. this amazing story from mm. lullaby age while yeah. other kids were learning about Mother Goose. Or, yeah, same. Know. Yeah, and I, Santa. I was and I was being spoon fed the greatest story in the world, and so you can take it for granted. And apathy comes in. You, mm-hmm. um, and so, but when I go through those moments of you're talking about of temptation and uh, all these things that come in, whether you're a believer or not, they come to you. Yeah. The the moments that all of a sudden the word of God will come to me. It doesn't mean I take the way of escape. Yeah. But the fact that I've been getting the word of God in me since I was little, I have that in my arsenal. Yeah. And so I encourage my children, wherever you go, you're going to face temptation. You're going to face sin. You're going to participate in sin. Yeah. But the fact that you got the word of God in you was most, the most important thing that happened to me as a child, because that stuff comes up. Mm. It gets reminded in those moments. And if you don't have it, you're basically in a war with a stick and a rock. Yeah. And that's not the, yeah, yeah, exactly. It worked out fine for David. Yeah. But, you know, it's mm-hmm. a war out there. And it so is. the scriptures are just massive to yeah. have in you. Yeah. So um, let's go into another song right here. Can you walk me up? We're not going to do this one live. I'll push play. But Wide Awake, can you walk me up this one? Yeah. So Wide Awake um, is is the moment when, um, you know, after 17 years of drug addiction, after using and running my whole life, that moment when in the fall of uh, 2019, when I got invited to Church of the City in Franklin, um, I walked into the doors and I stood in that aisleway and it was like this magnet that just, this magnet drew me in to the auditorium. And I'll never forget, I stood there in the aisleway. John Reddick, Chris McClarney, they were leading worship. Everybody's hands were in the air. I've never even sat through a church service in my life. And I'm like, what is going on right now? And the music, God used the music because he knew. I used to cut myself to POD and stuff, you know, and 12 stones. Like I had no idea that I was even listening to Christian music, that he was with me the whole time. Yeah. But Wide Awake is that moment when there's a line in that song that you put the skeleton key in and open the door to my heart. And I just pictured this old rusted lockbox as I stood there. And he just cracked that thing open and allowed for me to finally feel mm. without having to use, without having to run, without having to drink, all those things that, that, that I tried to fill myself up with my whole life. Yeah. And so Wide Awake is that moment where at my eyes open for the first time awesome. and I saw it. It's very, I wanted to feel out the interview before I got to this last thing. Mm. And hopefully you're okay with it. Um, you think I'm going serious with this, but I'm not. And hopefully you're okay with this. Uh, we, we argued about it before you got in here about whether I should do this or not, but I'm just going to do it and hope you're okay with it. Let's do it. Um, I've found all many references in scripture of prison and I'm, we're going to do prison trivia. Praise God. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Does anybody have any shackles that I could put on and we could just sit here like this, you know? It'd be one of those things where we could... All right. Here we go. Yes. Number one. There's only five. After dealing with Ananias and Sapphira for holding back money from the early disciples, Peter was thrown into prison by the local high priest in the middle of the night. Who let Peter out? Oh my gosh, do you think I know the Bible that well by now? I didn't know you were a new believer. Oh so. my Lord, I am brand new. <laughs> Lord, Holy Spirit, we need to pray now is what we need to do. I, I God, give were, me the words, Lord. I, you were one of those Christians I don't that, know. An angel of the Lord let him out. Yes. Praise God. That was See, the I Holy Spirit right there. Christians Thank you, God. That, that like yes. fell away and went to prison. You know what? <laughs> my chains have broken free. Look at this. Zach Williams. I'm free. <laughs> Here we go. Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns of praise to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Mm. What time was it? Oh. They mentioned the exact time. Oh, that this man. Happened. This is also a difficult one. Um, can I take a stab? Yeah. Middle of the night. 
they gave a specific hour. Okay. Yeah. In the middle of the night. Yes. But they said it was, this all happened at midnight. Yes. Praise God. Two for two. I had the mid part right. (laughs) Thank you, Jesus. When the jailer woke to find Paul and Silas escaped from prison, Mm. what was the jailer's response? What was he going to do when he saw that nobody's in there? He fell asleep, woke up. They were gone. Yes. What was he going to do? He was going to go tell somebody. He was going to kill himself. <laughs> but tell- Well, what I do know is if he gets, if, if the prisoners escape and, and he's the guard watching, yeah. it's, it's automatic death. Oh, yeah. In that, in that time, right? So, he was so I do of- know that. I've redeemed myself. Praise God. He was getting out Thank ahead you. of that. I won. Yeah. Um- I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> Yeah. Radio, radioing in would have been good. Uh, yeah, we got a problem down here. Uh, Jay, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm watching for a shooting star. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. For another chance to <laughs> give a t-shirt, t-shirt away. Yeah. yeah. Ben Fuller merch, do we have that? Yes, okay. we do. Okay. Uh, two more here. Pharaoh sent and called for Joseph. Um, hurriedly brought him in from the dungeon to interpret Pharaoh's dreams. What two things did Joseph do when he walked out of the dungeon on his way to go meet Pharaoh? Your questions are ridiculous. Uh, I did not go to ministry school. I went to jail. Uh, (laughs) I have opened the Bible for three years. People opened the Bible for a lifetime and couldn't answer that question, Jay. I I didn't know this at all. I've been around the Bible 45 years. I didn't know this. You didn't know this. This is unfair. He shaved and changed. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go do the same. (laughs) I'm getting a little hot. It's nighttime. You might get this one. Last one. Yes. No, you won't. (laughs) I'm done. Who threw John the Baptist in prison? Mm. I don't know. He was a leader Um, around that area. Oh, he was. Um, Wow. A king. Uh, yeah, Herod. Was he a king? King Herod. 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 Okay. I wouldn't have known that. Uh, we're going to give you that one. Four That's for five. good. Some people say they remind that I remind them of John the Baptist. Yeah. I do eat locusts and honey sometimes. Yeah. So, praise yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. You didn't do too bad at all. So, that's... I got one out of four. That's that's a failure. Yeah. I think that's... <laughs> As somebody who had the same high school GPA, I would say you did fine. Okay, yeah. thank you. Satisfactory. So satisfactory. That's. Yeah. I mean, you know what? That's all I'm striving for. <laughs> you know, I'm not perfect. I'm perfect in Christ. Yes. Thank you. You're uh, on the road right now with uh, with Zach Williams. Which, it, if anybody, when people meet you, they'll say, "Oh my gosh, you look. You're just like Zach Williams. They should tour you guys together." <laughs> and here they are. Yes. And yeah. the Lord. It, it's it's actually really funny because. Um, so many people were saying that and, and it was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hadn't listened to any of his music. Yeah. And so I finally, I remember looking up his music I, and I heard rescue story for the first time yeah. driving up the interstate by myself and I bawled like a baby Yeah. and I was just like, Oh, this is why yeah. Th- like this. It, it, anyway, so he's amazing. Did you ever see the movie, uh, where the two girls are twins and, and the parent trap? And they get separated. It's one of those old 1960s Disney's parent trap. One goes to live in California and lives a rich yes. life. One's poor. Yes. Pollyanna. That yeah. era. Yeah. I feel like. Was it the 90s? Was it? Okay. Was it the 90s? Yeah. It was, the, it was the 90s. It was in my BC days for I, sure. I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, there's an older one. Yeah. But I feel like you and Zach Williams are twins and they took one and moved him to Arkansas and they put one in New England and you two come together and like, oh, this is what it's this is the New England version of Zach Williams. You know, I had a vision and I really wanted to make this happen. But Zach Williams on a Harley riding down the interstate and I'm just on a horse right next to him, just galloping along. But can, can you picture that? <laughs> That's the two brothers coming together. You know what I mean? Riding in the cavalry for Jesus. Yeah. But I can Praise see the, God. the faith-based film where they, they take Ben Fuller and put him in Arkansas, and he yes. has to learn about Southern things. What is this? What are grits? I don't know. And Zach is up in New England. Going, I can't make maple syrup. <laughs> what do you want me to do with that? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, you guys eat Dunkin' Donuts every day? <laughs> Red Sox. Fenway Park. Red Sox. <laughs> Uh, You're not wrong. Great having you in. Look forward to uh, more new music coming in the future. And uh, love your heart. 
and I'll, I apologize for Bible trivia to a new believer. That was um, not right of me. Hey, I need to learn somehow. Thank but you. seriously, thank you so much. Yeah, glad I could help. Yeah. The Thursday afternoon chat. Your favorite artists with Jay Off.